Today I'm going to be talking about simple and compound interest. And I'm going to show you which is the best for a money market. Anyone who takes that alone has to think about the cost of doing so. If you need to borrow money to finance a home purchase or a renovation, you'll want your interest rate to be as low as possible. From an investor standpoint, however, higher interest rates present the opportunity to earn higher rates of return. Interest can be simple or it can compound over time. Don't understand the difference between simple and compound interest? We'll define both in many of examples. What is simple interest? The term interest indicates how much you can earn from the money you originally invest. As your investment sits in an account over time, interest accumulates and you can watch your funds grow. To calculate the amount of simple interest, you stand to earn as an investor. You can use these following formula, I equals PRT, where I is the interest, P is the principal, the starting amount, R is the rate, is expressed as a decimal, and T is time in years. So, let's say I had a, I wanted to invest $2,000 in a monkey mon money market account. And the that's the um, principal, or the rate expressed as a decimal. And I, let's say it was simple, simple, and the rate was 0 0.85. It's going to be 8.5 percent. And time in years is five. I want to see how much interest I could grow in five years. So we might need a calculator. So I'm finding a calculator. Yeah, my sister lost mine. Okay, so 2,000 times 0 0.085 times 5 equals 850. So over 5 years, you'll earn $850 in interest. Now, but for, now we're, what we're going to do is add 850 and 2,000 together to see what your total is in your account. So that would be 2,850. And that's simple interest. Compound interest represents the amount you earn from your initial investments, in addition to the interest you earn on top of the interest that has already accrued. You can calculate compound interest using the formula B equals to P1 plus RT, where the balance is the P is the principal, R is the interest rate expressed as a decimal, and T is time in years. Interest can be compounded either frequently, daily, or monthly, or infrequently, quarterly, once a year, biannually. The more often your interest compounds, the more interest you'll earn on your investment. We're going to use the same problem we used last time for simple interest. Now remember 2000 in my, with my principal, my rate expressed as a decimal was 8.5% and my time in years was 5. Five is the exponent. 
So we need a calculator. Okay, so 2,000 times um, parenthesis 1 plus 0.05 and to the fifth power, make sure 5 is the exponent. Equals three thousand and seven dollars and thirty one cents. So it's better to compound your interest than it is to let your investment sit in an account with simple interest.